Jello. Welcome, welcome to Jello with Jazza. How do you open up a video that's going to be the silly? This is, the this is it. This is it. Oh, I'm nervous now. Don't do that to me. Hello, everybody. Welcome to this video where I'm going to take Jello and try and see if I can sculpt things with it. Do it properly. <laughs> I am. I'm going to miss your coaching. This is Gareth's last video with us behind the camera. We're going to miss him dearly. We're going to miss your shenanigans. Round of post-production applause for the amazingness that has been Gareth over these four years almost. Yeah. We're going to miss you, Gareth. Uh, yeah, so we, I haven't uncontained any of it. I'm, gonna, I'm still going to take the jelly out. This could go horribly wrong. I'm going to open up with the question. Can you sculpt with jello? Step one. Let's, get, let's just give it a crack. I've got two smaller ones, two medium ones, and one big one. Oh my God. Ooh, I like that sound. Yeah. It's, it's, oof. So yeah, honestly, like this, there may not be much of a video here, uh, but we're going to find out right now, Jello number one. I'm gonna unsheathe them all, just so we know what I have to work with for the rest of the video. I'm pretty confident these will work. <gasps> Jello! Ooh, that's, that is satisfying. Oh, I, can, I reckon that there's something there. I can make that work. We got a video, everyone. We're good. How big does our video get? Oh, oh, oh. Whoa! <laughs> 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 All right, now this is uh... This one's never gonna work. No uh, chance. I reckon it'll work, but it's gonna disintegrate very quickly. Amy used my VR headset container <laughs> for the jello. Where's my VR headset? Yeah, now look, I'm gonna save this one till later. I'm gonna see how far we can get with this. Go small, medium, and then see if we can do large. So we're dabbling and I've got, I've got a couple of doubles. So we can start just by experimenting and seeing what works. I think this will work to just do a broad trim if I need to. Yep, not that. This on the other hand, oh, it sort of grabs into it. I think the key to this, I think the key to this is gonna be working with really sharp instruments. It also sort of grabs. I'm gonna lube my instruments. Get a clean cut. Uh. It does sort of tear if there's too much tension. I think grease helps. What about a little indentation carving? It's hard to sort of tell. You've got to, you've got to dig in to get the first sort of latch, you know? So there's, there's something. There's something here. Okay, let's give it a go. I'm going to do my first dabble. I'm going to carve a face. Now, I know I opened up all goofy, but just because I'm skeptical as to whether we'll get uh, anything decent out of this doesn't mean I'm not going to give it a proper go. And after scraping off a few layers and eating a good handful of jelly, I actually started to feel like maybe I can work with this, even if just in a rudimentary way. Like, first of all, as you can see, it's really visually appealing. Like, just those clean cuts, if I can get the knife in the right place and if it glides nicely, revealing these crystalline, slightly textured, sharp angled areas. I feel like we could almost get something that looks like a gem just because of the translucent nature of the jelly. I don't know, I feel like there's some promise here. So just forging ahead, cut by cut and scrape by scrape as carefully as I could. I wanted to see if I could create something resembling a face. And as you can see, it's really coming together. I mean, the form is pretty clear. You can tell it's a face. It's not perfect because it's hard to be refined, but at the same time, what it lacks in refinement, it actually sort of makes up for in weird coolness. Like this has been chipped out of a gemstone. And after my double, I'm a little speechless. It sort of, it worked better than I expected. This is a double. This is the smallest amount of jelly. So it's gonna be harder as it gets bigger, but it's promising that we could maybe do something semi-cool, at least very surprisingly cool, for jelly sculpting. This is a reductive form of sculpting. I'm taking jelly away and trying to reveal an artwork. The right way to do this would just be mold making. You make a mold, you pour jelly into it, you set it, you take it out, and you have a perfect sculpture. That's additive sculpting, but you know, it's also cheating, and it's not really what you clicked on this video for. But just because there's a right way to do it, sometimes it is just worth doing something the right way <laughs> and with the right tools, like with this video sponsor, DaVinci Resolve. Not only is DaVinci Resolve the best editing tool out there, but it's got everything you need from audio to color grading and everything, and it's free. Color grading is my personal favorite. I mean, look at this beautiful green jello and purple tablecloth. It's like magic. <laughs> but actually, and as a, as a little goodbye present, I think Jar Jareth? 
Gareth. I think Jareth. Don't even know it's my to, name. It's been four years. <laughs> Gareth, you've been our senior editor for four years, almost four years now. Uh-huh. Could you come join me for the resolve spot? And when Gareth joined the studio, he was using other editing software, and we as a <laughs> studio have transitioned to resolve and used it for the last three years. Yes. It is undeniably good. It is an und undeniably free. So yeah, go to the Blackmagic website and get your version of DaVinci Resolve and start creating. He's a bloody pro. Look at you go. That was terrible. <laughs> do you edit with Resolve at home now? Of course I do. I know it can be scary to, to move over from other editing software, but Blackmagic Design is the video company. They make all the cameras we use, they make the software we use, they know video production. Whether you're a small creator, Twitch streamer, vlogger, or Hollywood blockbuster editor. I genuinely love Blackmagic design and everything they make, including DaVinci Resolve. That was perfect. Yeah. I genuinely love you. Beep. See ya. And that's how, he's, and that's how he goes. See ya. Bye. Wait, hang on. Can you, can you come back? Because I, I need a cameraman just for this video. Yeah. Thanks, man. Okay. Appreciate it. Oh, what black magic was that? Find out for yourself by clicking the link in the description. DaVinci Resolve. It's bloody free and it's bloody awesome. Yeah, it is. Let's go medium. I'm gonna see if I can just transfer this straight onto the, can I pick it up? <laughs> this is, uh, this is gonna hang over the edges. Yeah. I'm, I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go for it. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Let's see how far we can take that. I just wanna slap it. <laughs> and like, just massage it. This is so weird. Ooh, can I sculpt just by eating? You want to know now, don't you? Well, of course I want to know. <laughs> Can I sculpt by eating? Let's find out. Epic montage time. Now, working with the medium in this way was very visceral and had me connecting to my art very directly. It was, it was empowering in some ways and really uh, upsetting in a lot of other ways. So I'm not sure that I would recommend sculpting jello like this or, or even sculpting jello at all, let's be honest. But if you do sculpt jello and you really want to feel connected to your creation, maybe give it a go. Um, but also definitely don't. Can you see what it is? It's a thumbs up. Oh yeah. It's a thumbs up. So, because I want you to like this video. Please like So this please, video. please click like. That was just for a bit of fun. Though. So we're going to move on to trying to do something serious. Stop eating it! You don't waste it. I, I don't waste, Gareth. <laughs> now, obviously a lot of jello has to go for me to work my way to the shape I'm trying to create. And as silly as this whole concept is, and look, you knew it was gonna be silly when you clicked this video. I have to say, I'm surprised in more ways than one. And the main way I'm surprised, of course, is the fact that you can actually sculpt it and it looks kind of cool, like, like crystals or gem, like it's really reflective. But then the other is how adorable and hilarious it is as I'm sculpting what I'm aiming to create as a, like a chubby Buddha, like a jolly statue, that the wobble varies depending on the mass of the jelly. So he's got this really fun little wobbly head and a very large wobbly body and tummy. And I'm happy right now. This is bringing me joy. It's so dumb, but I hope you're as amused as I am. Uh, um, but now it's falling apart because the weight of the jelly, uh, there must have been just a trim that it, the weight just pulled the rest of the jelly out. It won't hold. I can't like prop it up with jelly. That might have to do. But I think now we're getting at the stage. Yeah, there you go. Okay, that's part of the sculpture. It's a, it's a rock. Buddha is sitting next to a rock. Oh yeah, I can see that. But yeah, this is at the point now where like montage is over because any second now it can fall apart. Now there's not a lot of detail that we can get out of this, but I'm just gonna try and refine the remaining shapes. I want his tummy to be a little more organic looking, so I'm gonna bring this down. I knew this would be a silly concept, but even silly concepts, I try and give it a go. This is more visually appealing than I expected by a long shot. I have a lot of limitations on detail, but if I can get the right shape, like really nail the silhouette and just some core geometric shapes, it could look really cool. <laughs> Ooh. 
This is, this is the video I'm gonna say of my whole YouTube career I have the strongest mixed emotions on. Weirdly satisfying and cool, also incredibly disgusting in some ways I've never been this aggressively in content before, so. I don't know, you've been pretty gross before. Gareth's first impression of me and my content, by the way, this is just before our job interview, <laughs> yeah. he was like, well, who's this Jazza guy? He goes up to my channel, like looks at the most recent video and it opens like this. <laughs> so, you know, I'm surprised you uh, stuck around so Yeah, long. wanted the job. <laughs> Let's wish Gareth luck on his journey in the comments and wish me luck holding this thing together because I think we're done. Uh, we've got to be done because look at his whole, he's, he's fallen. We need another rock. We need another structural jelly rock. This time it's behind him. I don't think it's going to work the way the other one did. It's, she's going to blow. Let's try and piece it together. Look at his little head. Isn't that cute? <laughs> okay, that's as, that, that, I have pushed jelly as far as it can be pushed, uh, and it cannot be pushed anymore without literally falling apart. But you know what? I'm made by Jiggly Little Buddha, and I freaking love him. <laughs> now, if that was the dive, who's ready for a deep dive? <laughs> oh my God. Type now, yeah. is the jelly gonna come out in one piece? All right, go, you got <gasps> this whole thing is like moving under its own weight. Oh my god. This is heavy. This is like a full tub of water. Like it's not light. I think I've just got to go for it. Oh! My arm is stuck. <laughs> that sound. <laughs> oh, I can't, I can't sculpture with this. It's a, whoever said it was going to fall apart straight away is right. Ah. Oh, well, you know what? I learned something today. You can sculpt with jelly, within reason, but you probably shouldn't. And I'm never gonna eat jelly again. Well, you said you were never gonna waste. You said that earlier on. Eat it. Eat it! <laughs> no, Gareth, no. That's I... my last request. Eat it! <laughs>